my dears, it's me, Ordinary Girl, trying to be fabulous, and welcome to my channel, welcome to my subscribers, welcome to my new subscribers, and welcome to those of you who are not subscribed. If you are not subscribed and you enjoy my content, I hope you will consider doing so. And even if you don't enjoy my content, I hope you will consider subscribing because, hey, why not? So today, we are going to try out this... Uh, Fiera Luxury Concealer and it's supposed to do amazing things and be very thick and very cover cover it have a lot of coverage so that's what we're gonna do so this is my see this is my bare face I don't know why I always look up toward the corner but I do anyways this is my bare face and this is a little bitty tube but like in the ad you see, let's see of course you will use this one. In the in the ad, you see them like, you know, covering their whole face with it. And we don't really have a lot of time this morning. So this morning, all we're gonna use is the concealer. So you see my bare face, and you see you can just use a little bit of concealer. You don't have to use a lot. I put some dots on my face. And we're gonna do half my face and we're gonna see what half of it looks like. Cause they claim you don't have to use a lot. Let's make sure we're not. They claim you don't have to use a lot and that you can just cover your whole face with that. And that a little goes a long way. So there's half my face done. I don't think you can really tell any difference, but I think there is an improvement. All right. My little dark circles covered the most. So we'll put a little bit more there. I don't know. I don't see much difference. Maybe a little bit of difference. I'll do the other side. what them doggies are barking at. Okay, so I used a bit more on the other side and I'm going to go back in and do put a few more drops on this side. Where did it go? Okay, there it is. Stand up my makeup brush. It feels nice. It does. It feels nice. It doesn't feel like foundation. And it is very thick. Just a little bit more on that side. You don't you really you don't have to use a lot to get um, decent coverage. So I think that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice coverage. I didn't have to use a lot. And it's supposed to be 91 degrees today, so I mean honestly, no makeup is gonna last through 91 degrees and sweating and stuff like that. So, um, I'm not going to test for that. But I am running late, so I'm just going to like put on some lipstick and mascara. I'm not going to do the rest of it, the powder or anything, etc. Just wanted to I just wanted to have some nice coverage, a little a little foundation this morning, a little, you know, covering up the red and the I think it's nice. Yep, and I'm no makeup artist, so don't don't get mad at me for how I apply my makeup or the order I apply it in. Okay, 
the mascara. So if you watched my last video, you noticed I got a little a little container for my cosmetics, which has been pretty great. I am a makeup artist because I always get mascara where it's not supposed to go. I always wonder, you know, why do we do this while we're putting on mascara? Why do we why do we make the fish face? I think I just put a little bit of shimmery stuff on my cheeks. Let me put on my glasses so that I can see what I'm doing. Is that really I'm always afraid I've not blended this stuff properly. I just want a little bit of shimmer. I don't want a ridiculous amount of shimmer. Just want, you know, light to catch. Okay, so that is that is it for today. And you'll see, I'll put I like it. All I'm wearing is the, let's see if I, it's a little tube, it disappears. See, all I'm wearing is this little bit of Fiera, and it comes, and the tube is so little, but it does have very good, it does have very good coverage, and it's really, it's really true. Just a dab will do ya. Yep, that's all I'm wearing. I'm not wearing any primer or powder or anything, just like the Fiera, a little bit of shimmer, um, you know, lipstick and mascara. Yeah. It's pretty good. Um, normally, I would test to see how long it will last. But like I said, today is 91 degrees. I don't think, I don't think any makeup could last. Even, I just don't think it, it just couldn't last. Yeah, so we're not going to try that. Because it's 91 degrees and I am already sweating. Ooh, it's already hot so yeah so um, I think we'll come back tomorrow and we'll try some other stuff but I'll, I'll be back this is not the end so it's been several hours since I applied this um, concealer and I just wanted to show you an up close of my face you know I didn't expect it to last, but it looks like it's lasted, at least to me. It has not hardly rubbed off. Of course, it rubbed off my nose. It always rubs off my nose. Anyways, there has been no uh, application. I have not reapplied. This is this is from early this morning, just to let y'all see. So so far, so good. Okay, so today, um, I did not oversleep, so I have a little bit more time to apply more makeup, so we're going to try out this foundation, well, it's not foundation, this concealer again, and, um, we're going to try it out, and we're going to see if we like it, if it's as good as the commercial, I mean, and we're going to try, we're going to put powders and stuff all over it, so it's like, it's this, uh, Fiera luxury concealer one thing that's really nice let's see where's my where's my brush one thing that's really nice about it is that it um it is really thick and you don't need a lot i was concerned about that because the tube is so tiny so yeah i'm gonna start with that and get our brush out. It is July, so it's very hot and humid, so I'm not even sure why I'm bothering. Because this is just going to melt off. I mean, yesterday it did last pretty nicely. And yesterday, um, you know how, like, a lot of makeup, it moves. I don't want to lay that straight on the sink. But, like, makeup moves around and it gets all weird in your pores. 
a little bit more on my nose. It gets all weird in your pores, put a little bit more on my cheeks since that, like, where it comes off first. And it settles in your, you know, it settles into your pores and it settles into your fine lines. Well, I found this concealer didn't do that. And this is just concealer. I have not put any primer on my face. You don't have primer. Yep, this concealer does not settle into your pores, into your fine lines and creases. It doesn't, it doesn't look weird. And I like that. And it doesn't, it doesn't feel weird after you put it on. You know how, um, you put like foundation on and then like it feels itchy or it feels like you're wearing a mask. It feels like you're wearing a dry mask. So yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't feel that way. I feel like I could just wear this and I would be fine. See, let me, let me come up there. It's got nice coverage. It's not as nice as the um, commercial shows. It's not as thick. Maybe I'm not putting on as much, but like, yeah, I think it has nice coverage. Yep, and being, I like that, but I need, I need a bigger mirror. Yeah, and being an older, ugh, I get these little baby hairs. I should be thankful that I have hair. But like being an older woman, um, I do not like liquid foundation anymore because it's worse. Yup, the settling. Because, you know, I'm a little older. I have more fine lines and wrinkles. And so the settling into the fine lines is worse. And this is how I know how to apply blush. I'm probably applying it wrong. And then this stuff, because I have to pretend like I have a chin. Okay, so that's that. Oh, mascara. Let's see, where's my mascara? There's a big dollop of mascara and it is threatening to hit my eye. I'm always like envious of people who are really good with makeup because I am not. I'm always pretty envious of people who are good with makeup because it's not my, it's not my forte. I am not good with makeup. Like there are people who do so many beautiful shades of, of, uh, eyeshadow. And I can't because I have hooded eyelids. I feel like eyeshadow is wasted on my hooded eyelids. Okay, so that's as good as it gets. 
So, yep, that's my... This is my makeup for the day. So, um, I'll come back and I'll tell you how all of this wore and if I still like it. Because so far I like it. But I'll see, especially with, you know, July and it being hot, we'll see how well it wore out. So, yeah, we'll be back in a little bit. We'll put our glasses back on so we can see. Okay, so it has been several hours, I think at least 10 hours, since I, um, you know, put that makeup on. And it, it did last pretty well throughout the day. It did a good job lasting. I mean, you know, it's, um, it's hot outside, so I don't expect miracles. And you see... Oh, you can see, maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't come off too bad. Maybe it lasted, you know, just didn't last on my nose. It always, no matter what makeup I wear, it always rubs off on my nose. So, but yeah, I mean, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, I like that specific brand of concealer this feria feria i should pronounce it right fiera yeah so i like it because it doesn't uh it doesn't sink into my lines in wrinkles so that's pretty good i like it i recommend it i bought mine from amazon but i'm not sponsored yet fiera luxury concealer I highly recommend.